my name is Jennifer and this is Mackenzie. And today we're going to teach you how to make Angel Cherry Delight. Angel Cherry Delight. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Okay, so this dessert I actually learned from my sister-in-law, Jessica, so thank you, Jessica. It is a quick and easy dessert, and you only need five ingredients. Can you tell us what those ingredients are? We have, what is that, this, cherries? We have cherry pie filling, and this is a 21 ounce can. And we have um, cream cheese. One block of cream cheese. We have a half cup of granulated sugar, mm -hmm. and some Cool Whip. Yep, one regular size container of Cool Whip. And then one store-bought angel food cake. You could make your own, but let's just make it easy. Okay, some other things that you're gonna need are two large mixing bowls. You could use a hand mixer or a KitchenAid to make it a lot easier. If you don't have those, you can just use a regular spoon. Also, a serrated knife would be helpful. Are you ready to get started? Yeah! Okay. Oh yeah. Also, you're gonna wanna either have a trifle dish or a nine by 13 dish. I'm gonna be using this beautiful Pioneer Woman pan. Okay, so, like I said, this recipe is so quick and easy. Even Mackenzie can make it with me. It is a no-bake dessert. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our room temperature cream cheese and stick that in a bowl with our one half cup of sugar and we're going to mix those together. All right, now we're going to use our mixer and mix these together. There you go. Two hands. Sugar. And our sugar mixed in this bowl. Mm -hmm. And it mixed up really nice because our cream cheese is room temperature, so there's no lumps in here. Okay, so to that we're going to go ahead and add the Cool Whip. Cool okay, so right now I'm adding half, about half of this container of Cool Whip in with our cream cheese and sugar mixture, and we're gonna fold that together. I'm gonna save this half of the Cool Whip for it later. Okay, can you gently fold that together? Gently mix it. But this it. has the other part, is it fine? Yeah, mix it together, we gotta mix it together. Yeah, and while she does that, I'm gonna open my can of cherry pie filling. Like this? Yeah, perfect, keep going. Okay, so this is all combined, and I've got my cherries open. I'm gonna go ahead and set those aside, because what I need to do next is cut up my store-bought angel food cake, and I'm gonna cut them into like bite-sized pieces. And Mackenzie hasn't learned how to use a knife yet, so I'm going to do this part. What am I going to do? You're going to watch. Okay. Look, it looks like a big donut. The world's largest donut. It there. smells really good. It smells like cotton candy. All right, time to cut the cake. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in slices first, and then I will cube it up. Okay, now I'm just gonna cube it up. So quarters is probably good for this. So what we're gonna do is as we're cubing this cake up, we're actually gonna throw it in the bowl with the Cool Whip and the cream cheese sugar mixture. So can you, can you throw them in the bowl as I'm cutting them up? Yeah. Thank you. I was worried that just one angel food cake wasn't going to be enough, but it looks like this is going to be plenty for our group. What are we going to do with the, if there's extra? All right. And we can go ahead and take all of these crumbs and put it in there as well. well. Cr crumbs are fine because we're going to mix it all together. You should probably do the mix. Okay, so we threw all of our cake in with our cream cheese and Cool Whip. 
But you know what, I don't think this bowl is gonna be big enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this into a larger bowl so it'll be easier for us to mix it all together. So in goes the cake and the cream cheese, all of that stuff. So we're just transferring it to a larger bowl, make it a little bit easier to mix up. Okay, so now we're just gonna mix it all up. So we're gonna... You gotta get that big lump to the other guy. Yeah, so we kinda just want every piece of cake, every chunk of cake to be covered <clears throat> in our cream cheese mixture. Yum. I never had this recipe until I tried it at my sister-in-law's house and the first time I tried it I just loved it. It was so good. It's kind of like a cherry cheesecake flavor um, but it's so easy because you just use a store-bought angel food cake. Um, she said it was a recipe that her grandmother used to make. She's not sure where it came from but it is now a family favorite. And she said that it was important to use the angel food cake for this recipe because since you're mixing it like this, I think a regular, a regular cake would just fall apart. The angel food cake is very um, spongy and it can hold up, doesn't really break. It's kind of like a, like the other cakes are like moist cake. Right, this cake, I'm, I'm mixing it and it's not falling apart. So definitely, I think it's important to use angel food cake and not substitute like a, just a regular white cake. All right. Those are all mixed up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this into our serving dish. All right, so Kenzie, I'm gonna hold the bowl. Can you scoop it into there? Yep. All right, there you go. Let's put it in there. Use two hands. Good job. Sometimes you gotta use your muscles when you're in the kitchen. Some of them might go a little bit overboard. I'm trying not to get on the outside of the pan. There's just one more piece. Good. There. Very nice. Good job. Okay. So I'm just going to scrape this bowl. Then make sure to get all of that yummy cream cheese out of there. I don't want to waste any of it. All right. Now I'm just going to smooth this down into my pan. I'll show you, but we get squish this down in there. It's okay if it's not totally flat. Bumpy is fine. Okay, so before I go on to my next part, I'm just gonna take a clean paper towel and wipe my edges so that they're nice and clean. You don't have to do this, but it does make it look a little nicer, I think. Sometimes when you're cooking, you just have to clean up a little bit of stuff. That's right, you clean as you go. Okay, so now with the other half of the Cool Whip that we saved, we're going to dump that on top and kind of spread it out. So I'll put a dollop there, a dollop there, and a dollop there. Get all that out of there. Okay, Kenzie, can you kind of spread that around? Yeah. Try not to get on this part. Like frosting? Uh-huh. So yeah. instead of real frosting, we're going to use Cool Whip instead of actual frosting. All right, so we got all of the Cool Whip um, pretty much covered <laughs> over the cake. It's totally fine if it's not perfect because now we're going to dump this cherry pie filling on top. Would you like to dump it on? Yeah. So you just do it like that and then pour out the whole thing and then we'll spread it out. Okay. Can you reach it? You need to come a little closer? Yeah. Okay, dump the whole thing on there. Try Whoa. To Put a little bit on this side. On this side. Oh yeah, that looks good. Did we get all of it? That does kind of look like a poppy. Yeah. All right. Oh, it kind of looks like a strawberry shortcake. Yeah. But instead of strawberries, it's mm -hmm. cherries. Yeah. Yum. So we're just going to gently spread this out. We want every bite to get a cherry. It's not like you have a big space over here and somebody gets that one and then they, then they don't get any cherries. That's and right. else does. It's not fair. So you gotta have every single bite. Yeah. 
single one to have a chair. All right, so there you have it. That was super quick, super easy. Mackenzie, next year you'll be able to do the whole thing by yourself. Mm -hmm. Won't that be cool? Yeah. So we have a special addition to our dessert. Let me show you. Now this part is optional. Not everyone's gonna need this next step. We are going to put a number seven candle on it. For me! For your birthday! You wanna stick it right in the middle? Yep. Okay. Yay, I love it. It's a little bit hard to see against the cherries, but here we go. Ta-da! Yum. You can't actually see the seven because the cherries <laughs> are red and the candle's pink. Yeah. It kind of blends in so you can't really see it. Mm -hmm. But if you see a thing with the white stick on the top, that's the candle. Okay. So our party is not starting for another hour. I'm gonna go ahead and let this chill in the fridge. All right, there you have it. There is the Angel Cherry Delight. This is an awesome dessert. Like I said, only five ingredients, and it was super quick and easy. I think all of our family is gonna love it. Yeah. So if you make this recipe, let me know in the comments down below how you like it, or if you make something similar, let me know how you make it differently. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.